Hey everybody, welcome. My name is Kevin Jones and this is the beginning 100 video series here on YouTube. My goal with this program is to educate you and inform you on everything that you're going to need to know about becoming a new hunter. Today with me, I have Evan Thomas. He is my brother-in-law. Last year was his first year coming uh, hunting with uh, his dad and I and he did it bow hunting style. So kudos to him. Um, today we're going to be discussing a few of the things, a few of the finer points on youth hunts, um, some things that you might not be aware of. Um, and then we're going to be talking to a youth himself about his experiences and um, kind of what his thoughts were on the program as well. So, Evan, what did you think about the whole situation last year on um, where we went? What did you think about it? Because last year, last year for elk hunting, you went with my grandpa. You went with your uh, grandpa? Yeah. Okay. So where did you go? You don't have to tell us the unit, but what, where generally did you go? You, did you went on the coast? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, you gotta speak up a little bit. Yeah, we went down to the coast, like kind of up in the hills area, and yeah. What did you think? Uh, packing it out wasn't fun. I'll just put it that <laughs> way. It was not fun. So, so packing it out was the hardest part that you did. Yeah. All right. So, what else? So, where did you go? Uh oh, you got a little girlfriend on your shoulder there. So, so you went with your grandpa. Yep. Um. You had statistically better odds of actually drawing your hunt because it's the way ODFW organizes youth hunts is they give youth hunts a separate application process, more or less. He was able to get his hunts at a better at better odds than I am able to get mine. I have to compete with everybody. He has to compete with other youth in Oregon. One of the things to note is that you don't just buy a youth hunter license and you don't just buy a youth fishing license. You buy the combination, and it's for $10. So Evan, we were able to get him a hunting and angling license for $10. If I were to try to do that, for just my hunting license, it's $33.50. If I want a fishing license, it's more than that. He's able to get both of them for $10. And the state even throws in his shellfish license, that I think is another 10 bucks for me and another fishing endorsement for free. So just out of that, he's able to have all that for 10 bucks. All that's been said. If you have kids and you're interested in getting them involved with hunting in Oregon, which I highly suggest and recommend you do, look into it. You have better odds of drawing your kids' hunts, and when you do that, you, have, um, you, you save money. So, Evan, let's flash forward to when you went with your dad and I over to Eastern Oregon and we bow hunted for mule deer. You remember that? Mm -hmm. What did you expect going into it? Did you, did you know that it was going to be as difficult as it was? Uh, and my dad said there was a lot of hills. I thought he was kind of exaggerating a little bit. Right. There is a lot of hills. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of hills. Yeah. So as far as, um, as far as the amount of deer that you saw, or animals for that matter, that you saw, was it what you expected, or was it more, or was it less? Uh, I thought it was going to be, I thought there was going to be like a couple deer here and there every day. Yeah. There was a lot of doe. Yeah. I mean, we would go to one spot and we'd see a doe. Yeah. <laughs> and like, we go like 10 yards to the next area, and then there would be another doe. There's yeah. just there's a lot of everywhere, and we saw what twenty bucks there yeah. throughout the whole trip. Yeah. yeah. Well, then you also saw elk, and yeah. we saw bighorn sheep, we saw bear. So all that to be said, would you recommend other? How, how old are you? Thirteen. So thirteen. Would you recommend that other thirteen-year-olds should go out and hunt? Yes. Okay. All right. So something to keep in mind, guys. It's not there's there's no secret sauce to it. Um, you do your homework ahead of time. You figure out what hunts you can actually put in for and which ones you'd actually get. And you know, I mean, it, it's it's clear when you talk to you know guys like Evan and when you talk to other hunters that are especially coming of age that they can go out in the field with a rifle. Um, it's it's a lot of fun. You know, Evan's best day when he th when he's you know, old man, think back on his life. He's never going to remember, you know, the best, 
you know, Fortnite game he ever played. He's going to remember spending time with his family. He's going to remember spending time with his friends, with his dad, with his grandpa, stuff like this. So um, I encourage everybody to at least consider doing this. Um, you know, you know, it doesn't matter if you have a daughter, a son, it doesn't matter. Just get them out there. Um, so if this was informative to you, go ahead and hit the like button. Consider subscribing if this is that useful. Um, it helps us uh, get in front of more hunters that would be curious um, about the same kind of topics that you were that landed you here to watch this video. So other than that, um, anything else, Evan? Uh, nope. That's nope. it? Yep. Get out and hunt. So, all right, guys. Uh, that's it for today. Uh, any other questions, feel free to drop a comment below, and we will get in front of you. <laughs> all right, guys. We'll see you next time. Thanks.